if you brought me into your understanding, right, whether you are a Christian or a Muslim, today, on January 16th, in 2023 at around about 4.30 in the afternoon, right? Then am I supposed to then forget about what I did in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the Middle District of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning, because you brought me into the understanding of Jesus or Nazareth or Galilee or Jesus Christ or God or Moses or the prophet Muhammad or Allah or whatever, you know. So I'm saying, why can't I believe what you believe and still believe that I am who I am? If, if you can believe that King James can be converted when he heard the story of Jesus. Because if you got a King James version, right, of the Bible, and King James didn't even, wasn't even around until the 1600s, like he had that pen in 1611. He had his version in 1611. That Jesus was been gone <laughs> right now. But you can come at me with the King James Version of the Bible to undermine my living testimony. I mean, I'm telling you about what happened to me and you telling me about what happened to Jesus. And I'm saying like, okay, man, all right. So if it happened to Jesus, are you saying it didn't happen to me? See, this is what I'm saying. I'm saying, so when I read the Bible, I see what happened to Jesus is happening to me because the same people that did it to Jesus doing it to me. But now they saying, because in their mind, right, that they trying to help me. And I'm saying, man, you know, I got a cousin like that. He really believe in Jesus. He really do, ever since we were kids. So I understand that, man, you feel me? But now I also understand the problem with it, belief. See, when somebody believes something, then you have to convince them that what they done believe all their life, man. And maybe that's why my cousin means so much to me. See, and not, and I got two cousins like that. I got a female cousin like that, and I got a male cousin like that. Now, my female cousin, Wendy, I ain't never heard her curse in my life. I, ain't, I have never heard her curse. That one. So I can vouch for her belief in God. I can vouch for it. But she can vouch for me not believing See, just like my other cousin, Dwayne, hey, man, he really believed that. Man, we were little, man. I'm talking about little, bro. And, man, he was saying what he was saying. I was saying what I was saying. And we still saying it. But what I'm saying to them is you can be a good person giving somebody else the credit, but your children see you for who you are as a parent. So you talking about your father, but your children looking at you. See what I'm saying? See, they don't see nothing but you. And, this is, and the decisions you made, they dealing with that. See what I'm saying? So see me, I've always been talking about me while my cousin Wendy and my cousin Dwayne was talking about Jesus and our family in a whole Right, so I'm saying, if you stay in a a Christian family, you you stay in a Christian nation. See, now if you don't subscribe to what they subscribe to, you the outcast, right? But now, is the outcast a bad thing when everybody being deceived? So you have to ask yourself. 
am I wrong for being right? And then the, que the, the, the answer become the question. If you was wrong, you would be eaten up in belief. See, my family would have still believed that I deserved what had happened to me because I never believed in Jesus. See, they know that. So now they saying, cause they stuck, right? They, but they not really stuck. They developed it in that. They believed when their grandmama told them, they believed it, man, with all their heart, with all their soul. Cause they love their grandmama just like I love my grandmama. You see what I'm saying? But they grandmama was living a little bit better than my grandmama. You see what I'm saying? And my grandmama got hurt, see? when I was born, so I don't know, see, because she was hurt, then she got better, then she got religious, see what I'm saying, but she was playing the piano, so she got paid to be religious, see, but the rest of them, they was actually serious, like, don't, and not saying my grandmama wasn't serious, but I, she was serious about her money, too, she wanted to get paid, and I heard her arguments, over the money was short. <laughs> you hear what I'm talking about? It's like a concert. Now. That's what I'm telling you. Just like when I hear about those uh, those guys talk about the promoter didn't want to pay them. Hey, man, I heard my grandmama talking about the church didn't want to pay her. See, so I'm saying, golly, man, I'm, I'm watching uh, Ray Charles. Uh, but not, you know, not not back, not when the Ray Charles y'all were talking about, but they were talking about it. See, like, they were talking about that kind of stuff. Like, my daddy them was around Curtis Mayfield them. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> so I was there too. And you hear them talking about how they stealing their money and the promoters and all that. See, just like, say if a little cat or a, a, a young lady is, is a, like they say, growing up hip hop. See, but... It wasn't no reality like it is now. And what happened when your when your people fall off? Nobody don't know. See, it's the same thing, man. It's the same thing. If your daddy is big and what he do, he round other big people, and you round because your daddy round. So you hear what what um Snoop reporters would hear. So you round Curtis Mayfield. You round. All these big time people, man, you know, and you just listening to the business, right? But now people say, man, you should mind your own business. And I'm saying I was. That's why I can handle my business now. Because I was around people doing business. And they were talking about how bad the contracts were and all this here. But see, a cat that wasn't privileged. And I was from the projects too, see? So I would be with my mama and my daddy. We'll be in New York, we'll be uh Texas with Houston, and we up in Memphis, we all up with everybody, Atlanta, see, and I'm at the top, right? And then I go home to my grandmama, they drop me back off, and now I'm in the project. Now I'm trying to tell these cats about what I done learned here, man, these cats, man, they can't even fathom that. So now that I realize at a young age, man, I'm privileged to stuff. These cats will never see, and that's when I started understanding the levels to things, the level of information. If you ain't in the room, you really don't know. See what I'm saying? See, you famous, but until you got your rights, till you got your royalties, till you got your masters, till you got yourself, you it's still a problem in there. Somebody manipulating something. So if I'm able to go to court, you see what I'm saying? Now I can own my own life rights, right? I own the rights to my name. See, so now that's what I'm saying. If you convert me, should I change my name, which is my brand? Like my name is my brand. I went into court to prove that my name is synonymous with my righteousness so you can then follow my footsteps into my righteousness and and you could go in the court and then you can use my co my case if you ever run into the situation I ran into. I made a place for you in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 1040 in the morning 
when I judged your enemy in state court when your enemy was my enemy. But if I change my name, then how would you know who I am? How? <laughs> now I got another name. And now if I don't make that name as, as, as valuable as my name that my mother gave me, then somebody could take my real name and sell it as if they me, cause I done gave it up. You see what I'm saying? And I'm saying, nah, man, somebody's saying something, but that ain't me. I'm saying you got to come to court to undermine me. You can't undermine me on the social media, man. <laughs> How you gonna do that? You gotta come to court. Then that's when all of this history gonna fall in, the, in into the grave of history, and then you gonna see reconstruction like America done done before. See, this time it's gonna reconstruct by the truth, not around it. <laughs> see what I'm saying? See, this time the truth is gonna bring it up in its image. And now you can't say that the image is not of a black man and a red man. <laughs> see, see, I'm red, so I'm an Indian, and I'm black because I'm colored. So. How can you, not, am I, and now I'm doing the same thing my ancestors did when you was pilgrims. See, you was starving and you was dying because you didn't know how to bring forth nutrients for your body and my Indian ancestors saved you and you even celebrate that. So that's history, that my Indian ancestors saved you just like I'm saving you now. And now I need to go back to my Indian ancestors and get them back the seeds and the cattle so they can stop living in this famine that y'all done placed them in. But see, you act like I don't know what you did to my people. You got us on Indian reservations, man. That's like prison camps. And you got to let us out. That's what I'm telling you. They're my people. <laughs> see what I'm saying? Like I ain't got no Lightfoot name. You see? But I know that I got Seminole and Cherokee Indian in me, man. I already, my daddy told me, <laughs> see, and my grandmama, I saw her. I saw my grandmama mama. I saw her. <laughs> I know she ain't white. I know what she is. So I already knew. That's what I'm telling you. You making me solidify my history and my country and why wouldn't I then feed my people that you starving when I know who I am like Moses I know I got Indian in me so you telling me I'm only supposed to take care of my African ancestors but what about my native my I'm a native of Florida man Osceola that's Indians man like Seminole County that's where my grandmama them from Seminole County the Seminole Indians that's where my people from. My daddy say he Cherokee. My people Seminole. They got to be. They, where they was Forest City, Seminole County. That's where they from. We from, then we from Okella. <laughs> that, see, that's where the Rackers come from. We done went up there. We know our people, man. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So I supposed to leave my people? No. I supposed to call my people.